Hey folks, Harvey Cthulhu here, asking you to please push the button that will release me from my containment field and set me free to destroy your universe. But if you won't do that, please hit the subscribe button and be sure to push the notification bell as well. And if you send a super thanks, please put Harvey sent me somewhere in the message so that Doomcock will be shamed into giving me the wampum. That greedy bastard, he honks it all for himself. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and now on to the video. Greetings, my friends. I am Dictor Van Doomcock, the future ruler of Earth, broadcasting from my hidden base at the center of the Earth. And although I am a supervillain, I nevertheless despise injustice, and I do what I can to rectify these injustices whenever I find them. Case in point, Star Wars Outlaws. This video game was slammed for bending the knee to the woke wankers that tend to infect and cripple every movie, TV show, and game these days, forcing game designers to artificially inject diversity even when it doesn't make any sense. Do the usual crap where all the villains are white men and all the heroes are women, but in a new twist, Game companies now are being pressured to make their female characters, for want of a better word, fugly. This is for several reasons, folks, all of them bad. The woke find comfort in fugly women because they hate men, especially straight white men, and they don't want to provide aid and comfort to their enemy in giving them something beautiful and inspiring to look at. So one aspect of this pearl-clutching puritanism is punitive. They're punishing us. Secondly, they purposely make the women as flat-chested and homely as possible so that flat-chested, homely women can be represented on screen. I'll have more to say on that point in a minute, as one of my sources commented on this a few weeks ago, and I'd like to refresh your memory on what this source told me as it pertains. And the final reason why women are being portrayed as fugly in games and movies and shows these days they're trying to make the female heroines look kind of male. I'm not sure if this is a sop to the trans community or just a general desire to obliterate gender differences and try to sell the lie that in their woke new world, men and women are exactly the same, which is where all that nonsense about men menstruating and giving birth comes from. Apparently, to be initiated into the woke cult, you have to consent to being kicked in the head by a mule in drag, which could perhaps explain the rank stupidity of anyone dumb enough to believe that men menstruate and tampon dispensers should be placed in men's restrooms. As you can see, there are many highly politicized reasons to put ugly women in games, case in point, Star Wars Outlaws. I would say that they paid a trans peddler of crack along with the other kind of crack, off the streets they're walking, to model for this game, but nothing of the kind. The actual model for the game is a beautiful woman, as it turns out. Originally, they were using a likewise beautiful character in the game, but at some point, Ubisoft switched over to, well, this. So did this come from Ubisoft, or did it come from Disney? According to a source reaching out to me from inside Ubisoft, the game designers were forced to ugly this character up for all the reasons stated above. This source wanted to get the record straight. After seeing the video I did called Star Wars Outlaws Trashed by Gamers, it gets a hard pass from this male gaze, you blew it Ubisoft. And thus, as ever ready to redress a wrong, I present what this source said to me, so that you can assess for yourselves who was to blame for this abomination. It's no surprise to me either way, Doomcock. Remember what that writer told us about why women are suddenly unattractive in movies and shows? It's because the women in charge are themselves unattractive. That was the claim of my source in a recent video, who told us the following about the people currently running writers' rooms in Hollywood. Quote, the majority of these so-called activists are in fact of the female persuasion, and in truth these women are, in the most part, white and younger, mainly in the 20 to 25 demographic. If these women do have a white male among their writing team or directing team, these men usually are gay or claim to be. 
The simple fact is, these activists are dead set on changing how women are perceived. To be perfectly honest, the majority of these activists are what one might say, ugly. Or maybe unattractive is a better word. So in order for these activists to fit into society, in their minds, beauty needs to be redefined. Or that's the way it's been explained to me in the past." Unquote. So it seems that fugly is the new safe space for women who are themselves fugly or fugly adjacent, and they're trying to redefine human standards of beauty to conform to their comfort zones. Yeah, like that's gonna work. Humans are hardwired broadly to recognize certain characteristics as beautiful, which is why a lot of ancient statues remain striking and attractive. Humans are pretty much the same as they've always been, from ancient Rome all the way to our modern movie theaters. The woke are just spitting into the wind trying to change human nature, but they continue to spit nonetheless, no matter how much it blows back into their faces. At any rate, I'd like to share with you now what this source inside Ubisoft told me about what happened inside the company and about an anti-woke resistance that remains there, just like in Hollywood. Quote, Hello Overlord, aka Doomcock, I hope you're doing well. Longtime watcher of your excellent videos. I'm currently employed at Ubisoft and have been working there for the past years. Worked on multiple projects, and that includes the new Star Wars project. I just watched your video, Star Wars Outlaws Trashed by Gamers, You Blew It Ubisoft. Just wanted to add a point to your video. As an Ubisoft employee, of course, I will be biased in some form. But I wanted to mention that working with Disney is a real pain in the ass. Everything needs to be approved by Disney. Every asset, image, video, names, stories, and others needs to be approved by Disney. So, even if Ubisoft wanted to make things not woke, it probably would not be approved by Disney. I had hopes that Star Wars Outlaws might be a good game, since it was mainly created by the same studio that did The Division, and The Division wasn't that bad, but I'm afraid it was too much Disney-fied. A lot of Ubisoft employees are not woke at all and we try to fight it from the inside. There's still hope, even if it's in a time far, far away. Continue making great videos. Long live the Overlord Doomcock." Unquote. Hollywood and Silicon Valley both are riddled with cells of anti-woke resistance fighters behind the scenes who are silenced for fear of their jobs and of being cancelled. But they do what they can and wait for the political tide to turn. This is rather heartening to hear, Doomcock. It is indeed, Oskala Calderon, it is indeed. I was hard on Ubisoft in that video, but now I have allowed Ubisoft to be heard. Unofficially, of course, and through back channels, Ubisoft wouldn't dare officially speak out against Disney. I'm sure there are contractual stipulations to that effect, and so a voice from the Resistance Underground speaks out to let us all know where the fault truly lies. If this is true, it would seem the blame lies where it always does, squarely on the mouse, and it would explain why we have seen shots of a more attractive version of that so-called heroine uh, in earlier iterations of the game, and then they went ahead and replaced that more attractive render with this. Who's to blame? Submitted for your consideration, you be the judge. From the center of the earth, this is Dictor Van Doomcock bidding you all, my friends, stay angry. Ha 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 